This is the best defense to use in Madden 24 right now. Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride, but I drive it. It shuts down the run. Gets instant sacks <laughs> and interceptions all game. So if you want to see what defense I'm using to get results like this, he could go all the way. Stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my custom offensive and custom defensive ebooks. But if you guys use team playbooks, you can also find them in my Saints offensive and Raiders defensive ebooks as well. If you guys need more help or more money plays, you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a defense using gameplay from my online CFM that I made with 32 subscribers. And I will be playing against some of the stiffest competition in the league against the owner of the Seattle Seahawks, who is the number one seed in the entire conference in just the second season of the league. And since this is the start of just the third season, it means that this is a matchup between the only number one seeds in the league's history going head to head since I had the number one seed the first season. So obviously this was the game of the week that everyone was watching, but if you guys want to follow along more in this league or even try to join, I will leave a link to the Discord server in the description. This isn't the first time we played as we played once before in the inaugural season in a game that literally came down to the final seconds that I won on a walk-off field goal. So I know that he wants revenge and this game will be close. But before I get into the video, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. The defense that I'm going to be showing you guys today is the B-Nog, the Big Nickel over G, as I think this is probably the off-meta meta in the game, and it's one of only two or three defenses that I like to use. If you want to know more about this defense, I already made a full breakdown of this defense recently in practice mode, and I'll leave a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video, so stick around for that if you want to see more. For my coaching adjustments, I want to turn match on as I'll be using several defenses with matching principles, and I want to hide them all pre-snap also, so I will set my auto alignment to base as well. My opponent likes to push the ball down the field a lot, especially the DK Metcalf, who is already a cheat code at 6'5", but in this league, he also has him up to a 99 speed. Imagine Tyreek Hill, but 6'5". Yeah. So he would go to this man relentlessly, and on the first play, it looks like Slay's ability got the knockout. Psych! But this is Madden, so it counted anyways to get him to midfield. And this might be CFM, but there is so many abilities on the teams at this point that it feels like mutt. As he runs the ball in the next play... <laughs> And his superstar right tackle gets down the field onto my safety right away and paves the lane for a big carry, knocking out half my defense on the right side. He must have nasty streak on or something, forcing me to temporarily bulk up to a larger defense on the next play in the 4-3 even 6-1. As he is now in the red zone, and it works on the next play, knocking him backwards for a loss before calling a hurry up and almost getting picked off if my user linebacker would have fucking jumped. What? But we hold him to a field goal anyways before his defense only allows me to get three yards and I have to punt it right back. On the next play, I try to shoot the gap on a play action, Oops. and it leaves the middle of the field wide open for another big play. One of the reasons I like the big nickel over G is due to the various matching styles, as I often will switch between cover six, cover nine, and cover six invert, which match most offensive concepts really well as everything is locked up, and I should have gotten another interception. But I mostly run the SS Blitz 3, but he reads it and beats it underneath on a smoke route before trying it again on the next play and getting much less. The setup for this play is simply to pinch the defensive line by pressing the D-pad to the left and down so that the defensive line can stop in the inside zones, then press the secondary and base line so that the safeties drop down but the cornerbacks don't. This sub package safety will also jump out to match any formation where the receivers are out wide, as the idea of all these adjustments are to get the coverage closer to their assignment while also getting the blitzing cornerback closer for the blitz. After that, I just have to hover the center with my user so that the offensive line target me, often allowing the cornerback to get in free. But on the next play, nothing is open as I should have gotten my third pick of the game before I realize that I'm playing with a bad remote that is most likely causing the bad timing on these catch attempts. Or it would be a very different game as he tries to hit me with another screen to the receiver to get the fourth and two that he decides to go for. So since he's been attacking me with short routes underneath my cover three corners, I decide to try and bait him by switching over to the SS Blitz 2 play that I keep my audible plays. As this play allows me to get the same pressure, but it also will take away these short throws 
So the things that beat cover three and cover two are the complete opposite, especially if I hard flat like I do here. Gotcha, bitch. And that's exactly what happens as Tredavious White jumps the route to give me a 7-3 lead, despite only having three yards of total offense so far. Just like that! I go back to my 3-3 odd play on the next drive, and that was a mistake, as this play isn't a matching cover three play like the one the big nickel over G, meaning the coverage is much worse, and he gets an easy touchdown to DK Metcalf, who mosses my defender. God damn it! To make things worse, I still don't gain a yard on offense. As I throw an interception two plays later, he tries to run an RPO on the next play. How about no? And I see it a mile away before he tries a crossing route and the CPU decides interceptions are overrated. Which team do you play for? One of the benefits of running this cover 3 defense so much is that I know the areas that are vulnerable, so I use to defend them first. Areas like up the seam. As we finally get a user lurk after dropping the first 3 to hold him to no points. And I finally get my offense moving a little bit as I slowly work my way down the length of the field to at least get a field goal to tie the game. I'm still switching in and out of the 3-3 out on the next drive as this is another defense I recently made an entire breakdown about, link in the description and on screen at the end as well, as I like to run the same cover 3 seam and cover 6 matching style defenses from this defense as well. But there's nothing I can do from this look to stop things like out routes and comeback routes as they just beat this style of defense. So I'm constantly switching from cover 3 to cover 2 zone to try to bait him into mistakes. As he runs with the quarterback to get back in a field goal range before I bulk up once again to try to stop him on 3rd and short and he gets another big run. Run. so clearly that isn't working so now that he's back in the red zone area i go back to my go-to defense in the b-nog and since this is cfm i like to keep my flat zone ko on both safeties playing the hard flats as it often results in knockouts to short routes like this forcing the ball down the field more before dk metcalf speed breaks the game once again and he just runs around darius slay on the very next play for the score and that would have been the score at half as I don't get very far on offense once again and have to punt it away. But my opponent is very aggressive on offense and is going to try to extend his lead with only 20 seconds left. This is the first time he is using this play or this formation, but once again, since I know that this defense is vulnerable up the seam, I'm going to assume that my opponent is going to be attacking me there. No soup for you. And I jump the route to get the ball back inside the five, which is 12 seconds left and no timeouts before I get screwed on an animation trying to throw the ball away. Oh to end the half. I at least get ball in the second half, but I ain't doing much before he comes out in a small defense. So I call a hurry up to keep him in it before switching formations to get an inside zone run and breaking off a big play to tie the game. He comes out under center to start the next drive, so my instinct is to match with the 4-3 even 6-1 to stop the run, but this defense is way too slow as he bombs it up to his 99 speed Metcalf to take the lead right back. Oh, good for you! And I'm methodically dinking and dunking my way down the field a few yards at a time to try to get down the field and tie this game, barely getting the first down most of the time, as he is literally defending every blade of grass, even forcing me to get a first down at the one from the two yard line. What? As I literally had the ball the entire third quarter with the exception of one play before scoring on an RPO to start the fourth quarter by tying the game. I come back out in a 3-3 odd once again trying to give him some different looks and it works better than the 4-3 even did as it takes him two plays to score against this defense as he uses my own play against me and even told me about it later in the discord server. Oh fuck you! Fuck you pal! On offense we have to keep scoring and we eventually do but it's clear and obvious that it's taking me way more to get down the field than him as he literally scored on two out of the last three plays with his 99 speed Metcalf. And I have to put together these long, methodical drives, but hey, the scoreboard says the same thing at the end of the day. But with four minutes left, I have to find a way to stop DK Metcalf, even if it means doing it myself. That was a close one. Before I go back to my number one defense in the B-Nog one more time, as I clearly have had more success using this formation than anything else. And this is the difference between matching defenses and regular cover three. Gotcha, bitch! As he tries the out route one more time, only this time Slay is all over for the score where regular three just keeps everything in front of him. And now he is behind for the first time all game and I am double teaming Metcalf on every single play before I switch to the 3-3 three, three odd A-gap blitz one more time as it finally works before he calls a hurry up and I just straight decide to man up DK Metcalf myself as we cut off the post route and end the game. 
So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more about the defense that I was using in this gameplay, I'll have links to the full breakdown on screen. So just click links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.